We all like shut down the lights and closed our blinds and we went to our corner. Pretty scary for sure. Students at Wyndham High School were shaken quite a bit after being on a lockdown for hours today. Yeah, officials say that's because someone called the police saying there was an armed intruder inside the high school. That threat obviously taken very seriously and even Eastern Connecticut State also ordered everyone on campus to shelter in place. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon is joining us live from Wyndham High. Dylan, luckily police say they uh, never found a gun or any weapon there, right? That's right, Mark, but still very scary for the students, the teachers, the parents, some of them even crying outside the school, waiting for the students to be let out. There was an early dismissal this morning around 1030. The parents just relieved to finally see their children. <laughs> this frightened mother weeps as she clings on to her young son, refusing to let go. It's a parent's worst nightmare, getting a call that a threat's been made on your child's school and the threat according to the district, is someone's inside with a gun. I'm very nervous though, until I don't see him in my hands, I'm not gonna be okay. Many parents were not okay until the embrace. Wyndham High in Willimantic was on lockdown for hours this morning. Someone called police saying an armed intruder was in the school. Students tell us they could see the teachers start to panic. The fear in the voice of our principal, and then we all like shut down the lights and closed our blinds and we went to our corner. Eastern Connecticut State's campus is right across the street. The university ordered students and staff to shelter in place. I was stuck in there for over two and a half hours. Willimantic police rushed over and searched the high school. They say the threat wasn't credible and no one was in danger. I asked police if they ever found a gun or any weapon on campus. They said no. Wyndham Superintendent Tracy Youngberg said, considering the heightened level of anxiety building wide, I determined that dismissing Wyndham High School early was prudent. Students were sent home at 10.30 this morning, but many of them were extremely shaken up. We didn't know what was going on, and then here comes social media. There's guns in the school, there's an active shooter and all these rumors, so it got scarier. It was scary for Eastern junior John O'Connell who's from Sandy Hook and was 10 during the deadly shooting. It was very reminiscent that experience of sitting in the, in the room with, with no idea really of what's going on. Now, Willimantic Police will be back here at the high school tomorrow morning just to be safe, but it's also not the first school threat made in the last couple of weeks. There have been several in Connecticut over the last couple of days as well. We'll dive into that and what the FBI is doing about it tonight at 530. We're live in Willimantic tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.